Our universe started with a bang, the Big Bang, 14 billion years ago. Today, the sound of that explosion echoes through the universe as the cosmic microwave background radiation, or CMB. As the universe cooled, matter coalesced into atoms that became stars and planets. Collections of stars swirled into galaxies, which clumped together into galaxy clusters, the largest objects in the known universe. But in the early 1970s, much of this was theory. There were practically no observations, and people knew about our universe. Practically nothing. Born in Tashkent, Uzbekistan in 1943, cosmologist Rashid Sunyaev graduated from the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology in 1966. He stayed to do graduate work under the famed physicist Yakov Zeldovich. I liked how he was thinking. Zeldovich was thinking about deep physics and he was able to explain everything on his fingers or to write very simple formulae. Cosmology is a science about the whole universe. I was really shocked how it is possible just to write equations and then to tell, oh, universe should be such or so on. This whole universe. Radio astronomers first started measuring the CMB in the late 1960s. Seemingly unrelated, galaxy clusters were discovered that were thought to be held together by a very hot gas. Sonyaev reasoned that photons from the CMB must interact with high-energy electrons in that hot gas. According to his calculations, some photons hit electrons and are scattered, creating a sort of shadow or cooling of the CMB at long wavelengths. Other photons would instead pick up energy from the hot gas, causing the hot red spot seen at shorter, higher-energy wavelengths. But the effect was small, perhaps too small to be measured. Even Zeldovich was not excited at first. And finally, one of the radio astronomers in Russia decided that he observed this effect. I decided to be quiet and to wait that somebody will tell this to Zeldovich, not me. And Zeldovich came excited and told me that I am lazy. We should immediately write paper because people are already observing this effect. He dictated the first page of the paper. I finished in the same evening, whole paper. Decades later, the Sonyaev Zeldovich, or SZ effect, allows astronomers to peek into the early universe and make precise cosmological measurements, like the size, placement, mass, and speed of large objects. They can study dark energy, the force pushing the universe to expand ever faster, and dark matter, the mysterious stuff that binds the universe together through gravity. But when it was first published... Gray-headed people were telling me, you're completely wrong, but slowly, slowly people recognize this. Only 25 years later, John Carlstrom observed this. I first met Rashid probably in the mid-90s. And when we just started trying to measure using an array of telescopes called the Owens Valley Radio Observatory in California. Sunyaev is a force in astronomy. In 1973, he and Nikolai Shakura modeled how black holes absorb matter while releasing energy. He is not just a theorist, but directs large international collaborations including space telescope missions from his positions leading the Russian Academy of Sciences Space Research Institute and the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics. To walk in space, it's extremely risky. And people who had one successful experiment during their life, they're happy people. I had two successful experiments. Young astronomers are flocking to the field. He is especially happy with the international character of today's science. Language of science is broken English. I can go to India, I can go to Italy or the United States, and then I can use this broken English and everybody understand me and everybody not telling me your English is wrong. The 2012 Benjamin Franklin Medal in Physics was presented to Rashid Sunyaya for his monumental contributions to understanding the early universe and the properties of black holes.